Welcome to Ultimately Uncanny's list of the top 10 related ice characters in comic books. I remember when you put me away here, Iron Man. I remember what I told myself I'd do if I ever saw you again. For this video, we have compiled a list of characters whose powers are based on cryogenic technology and supernatural abilities. In order to make this list, characters had to have started in comics and left a chilling memory in readers' minds. Winter has come at last. Number 10. Polar Boy. Polar Boy is a DC comic superhero from the 30th century that was initially suggested by a reader from Northbrook, Illinois. Polar Boy is most notable for his membership with the Legion of Superheroes. Then you'll lead the mission. He was the youngest person ever to try out for the Legion. First a member of the Substitutes, he eventually moved on to the Legion of Superheroes after the subs disbanded. Number 9. Icicle Number 1. Icicle Senior. Reeks when your dad is the man, you know? Noted European physicist Dr. Jor Mankit invented cold technology with his freezing gun and became a bizarrely costumed criminal known as the Icicle. The prison capo, my father. When he arrived in Gotham, he was an instant enemy to the original Green Lantern, Alan Scott. Number eight, Blizzard. Why? All he said was freeze. No, what? Once a Hungarian scientist obsessed with immortality and the use of cryogenics, he quickly landed a job with Stark Industries to fund his research and attempted to steal from Tony Stark. Sit nice and quietly and you'll live to tell your kids about being skyjacked by Blizzard and Black Lash in their fancy new black market, Ahmed Long. After being caught and fired, he used his research to create the persona of Blizzard. Other versions of this character include Randy Manklin and an inhuman named Donald Gill who appeared on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Number seven, Ice. We all need heroes in our lives. Sometimes we find them in the most unlikely places. Ice is a superhero in publications from DC Comics, first appearing in Justice League International number 12 in April of 1988. Ice served with Justice League International for years and occasionally dated Green Lantern Guy Gardner. Ice's personality is humble and quiet, which serves as a contrast to her impulsive teammate, Fire. <laughs> Number six, Icicle Two. Finally, I was wondering what a guy had to do to get a little attention around here. Unlike his father, Cameron Machin had no need for a cold gun, as his father's prolonged exposure to the weapon altered his genetics, allowing him to biologically pass down to his son the ability to freeze objects. Great to see you too, Dad. Get over here. Cameron became the second Icicle shortly after joining the Wizards and Justice Unlimited group. He is also known to tangle with the Justice Society of America on many occasions. Oh, Dad's gonna kill me. Number five, Killer Frost. <laughs> Dr. Louise Lincoln is the second incarnation of Killer Frost. She first appeared in Firestorm Volume 2, Number 21, in March of 1984. She is ruthless and began her own personal vendetta against Firestorm, who she blamed for the first Frost's death. She briefly served as a member of the Suicide Squad and also sold her soul to Neuron for more power. In the New 52, Killer Frost is portrayed through Dr. Caitlin Snow. This version is currently being used in the CW show, The Flash. Number four, Laufey. You know not what your actions would unleash. I do. Laufey is a supervillain appearing in books published by Marvel Comics. Usually as an enemy to the Asgardian King Odin, father of Thor, he is also king of the Frost Giants and biological father to Loki. Laufey rules over his realm with a cold grip. Next. Like all Frost Giants, Laufey is immortal and possesses superhuman strength and resistance to physical injury, as well as weakness to heat. Go now, while I still allow it. Laufey appeared in the film Thor. As in the comics, he was Loki's father, although he was unaware of the connection. Number three, Captain Cold. Someone better call 911. Captain Cold, AKA Leonard Snart, is a supervillain who appears in comic books published by DC Comics and is the leader of the Rogues. Captain Cold has served as a bitter enemy to the Silver Age Flash, Barry Allen, and both enemy and grudging friend to the third Flash, Wally West. You forced me to up my game, not only with this gun, but with how I think about the job. It's been educational. In recent years, he has even changed the era of his ways and joined the Justice League. 
He has also appeared on several episodes of the CW show, The Flash. Get ready for him. Number two, Iceman. Call me Iceman. Bobby Drake is a founding member of the X-Men and has been fighting for peaceful coexistence of mutants and humans most of his life. A very powerful elemental, Bobby uses thermal kinesis to create ice shields, freeze enemies, and absorb cold and moisture around him. Iceman has appeared in several forms of media, including video games, television, and the X-Men film series. Before we reveal our top spot, let's have a few honor roll mentions for other icy characters. Number one, Mr. Freeze. Rest well, my love. The monster who took you from me will soon learn that revenge is a dish best served cold. Mr. Freeze, AKA Dr. Victor Fries, is a supervillain who appears in comic books published by DC Comics. He frequently serves as an enemy to Batman. You will bring me Nora, or you will die. Freeze is a scientist who must wear his cryogenic suit in order to survive, and bases his crimes around cold or ice themes. In this universe, there's only one absolute. Everything freezes. Complete with a freeze gun, he's able to terrorize Gotham. However, in recent years, he's become one of Batman's less dangerous foes, and he's even served as an ally to him on many occasions. What do you say we heat things up? My passion. Thoughts for my bride alone. Ooh. Talk about your cold shoulder. His most common origin comes from Batman the Animated Series, where he was a former cryogenics expert who suffered an industrial accident while attempting to cure his terminally ill wife, Nora Freeze. Oh. Oh! Nora! Nora! Mr. Freeze was in the original Batman television series in 1966 and in the 1997 film Batman and Robin, but most popularly in Batman the Animated Series. You never again walk on a summer's day with a hot wind in your face and a warm hand to hold. Oh yes, I'd kill for that. Agree with our list? I hate when people talk during the movie. Join us on YouTube and Twitter for more comic book goodness updated every Thursday. Thanks for watching.